Hi guys, in this video I'm going to be taking the AMVR PK4 Lever Face Cushion Faceplate and doing a bit of modification to fit to my headsets. Now, I'm not too interested in using this on the PK4, I already have a 3D printed solution that really does fit my face shape better than this AMVR cover, so I'm actually going to be using this on the PK Neo 3 Link. Now interestingly, there isn't actually any aftermarket faceplates available for the PK Neo 3 Link. You either need the 3D printed solution, or with any luck, if this works, be able to use the Pika 4 faceplate to add a bit more FOV and a lot more comfort. Now, by design, the Pika 4 faceplate has that ridge around the outside. It also has locator pins that won't match up into the Pika Neo 3 Link. So to get a good mating surface, I'm basically going to snip this completely flat, going all the way around this Pika 4 faceplate, taking off the locator pins and that outside ridge. I will obviously give you the guidance. You need to use sort of safety specs or something to stop the plastic flying into your eyes. It will go flying in every direction. I'm just doing a safety squint just for this video. So if I get this sped up and get this cut off, I will explain you do have to sacrifice the nose piece on this Pico 4 faceplate. It won't make a difference, but it does mean that you need to use the new Freelink standard nose cover, not the one that's included with your AMVR cover. And once we're done, I'm going to be using just some nano tape. This might be called gecko tape or basically any reusable sort of double sided tape that you can find. This is super, super sticky, but it's enough to hold these faceplates in place. By design, the Pico 4 doesn't actually suit a direct swap onto the faceplate because it is a smaller design headset. So even simple things like this locator pin here, I was hoping to use that, but it is in a slightly different direction to where the new free link is. So that needs to come off as well. And all I need to do is put some tape around certain points on this faceplate, which will allow me to just stick it in place. And as I said, the eye box on the Pico 4 is smaller, the actual headset smaller. So when you fit it to the Neo 3Link, what you're going to find is you need to position it in an upwards direction. So the top of the faceplate is the top of the headset. If you can see, just chucking it on for a loose set, it does sit in the middle. But you want to really push that up towards the top that will make sure you're in the sweet spot for the lenses and stop the faceplate shifting around on you once you're happy that it's all sort of flat and level you can obviously use a file to clean it up i've just quite literally just done snips for this video i'm basically going to use very small ration pieces of these nano tape strips you really don't need a lot here. This is super, super sticky, so I wouldn't go overboard with this. Just put in a few areas that you can, just either side on the, on the corners, a bit around the nose, and a few pieces up near the top. You really don't need a lot of this stuff. I honestly don't advise covering the whole thing because you would never be able to remove that faceplate. Okay, so once you've got the small pieces put around there, take off the sort of protective backing film. And I would highly suggest doing what I'm doing here and just covering that tape in a bit of finger grease. Because like I said, even though these are really small pieces, they are super sticky. And again, you really don't need a lot of this stuff on there. And then positioning this is going to be a little bit tricky, but it's not too too bad. It's not too dissimilar. So it's, it's not as tall as a new free link. So you need to push this towards the top, which means the bottom is obviously not going to be all the way down near the bottom. And you need to sort of centralize it by eye. Once you're happy, then push it down. Just give it a sort of quick once over. Make sure it's all sort of snug. Again, that seems good. And I can show you how strong this tape is by just dangling from the faceplate. Even though that's only small pieces. And it's covered in finger grease. So again, it is reusable. If you get it wrong, it's nice and easy to take off. But just make sure when you put it on, you push that up. So you are in the right place when you actually go to put it on your face. And... I actually chose the AMVR cover with the two facial covers. It's about £10. You can probably get these for about £7 if you go for the one. The foam padding's about the same. Not the most dense foam on there, but it should do. And uh, yeah, let's give it a test. So, two thumbs up. Definitely better than the standard faceplate. Not quite as comfy for me as my 3D printed solution, but that was expected. But if you don't have a 3D printer, this is pretty much the only option you have at the moment. I would sort of recommend this definitely over the standard faceplate. It will obviously give you a bit more comfort. And again, it can come off if you use tiny pieces like this. And if you do happen to want to use this on your Pico 4 again, 
you're obviously going to be missing the nose piece if you just take off all of the sticky stuff. The magnets by design on the AM VR faceplate is still going to allow you to attach to the Pico 4. That ridge that goes around the outer is basically just to locate it. There's not really going to be any issues if you want to put this back on your Pico 4, so if you do have one already, you're willing to sort of make a gamble that you're going to use it on your Pico for link as well. You can easily just take off the nano tape when you need to, chuck it onto your Pico 4, and the magnets will sort of hold it in place. Again, there's no ridges, no locator pins, but the magnets are going to do their job and it's going to sit in the right place. So with the nose piece missing, you are going to have that little bit of flex down by the bottom, which means a little bit of movement, as you can see here. But once it's on your face, that really makes obviously no difference. The only sacrifice you have on the Pico 4 is because you're missing the nose piece, you haven't got any attachment for the nose light blocker. But again, with a near free link, that doesn't really matter because you have to use the standard one anyway that attaches to the headset itself. So yeah, nice little mod. Give it a go. Super cheap, super easy. Thumbs up. Cheers, guys.